here is the battle between the standard cadet and the standard compton so as you can see i have this one set exactly at the water line and it is using an original standard flush valve i have this one set to the water line and it is using a fluid master flush valve because the original broke so let's start off by giving the cadet a flush Amazing as expected. Now let's do the Compton. Also amazing. So let's have the first test be six paper towels each. I don't have Wendy's napkins, so I'm going to count these out as soon as the wind stops, and I will, I will flush six down each toilet, so once I get those ready, I will be right back. So I have six napkins, not napkins actually, paper towels, I have six paper towels, lost one for each toilet. First let's try the Cadet. And I'm just going to stick these in the Compton so they don't blow away. I'm going to add a little water to this. So let's see how it does. Did awesome. Now let's try the Compton. I'm guessing it will do pretty much the same. Did perfectly. Now let's try all 12 of them. And there has to be a leak every single time, doesn't there? So, before this video, everything just kept breaking on me. Like, the flush valves wouldn't quit leaking. Then one of them just broke entirely, and that's why I put the fluid master in. And then the tank to bowl gasket leaked. It's just leaks and leaks and leaks and leaks. So finally I got it fixed, and now it's leaking again. But anyway, I'll be back when the tank is full. So once again, this is 12 paper towels. Hard clog. This is a pretty big mass. I'm not surprised, honestly. Now let's try the Compton. I'm gonna add some water. I think this will probably also hard clog just because the cadet did. So let's see. Dang. That took it easily. That is kind of a, that is kind of a surprise. So now let's try some cloth and a bag. So I'll do the washcloth, the grocery bag, and the dish towel wherever all of them may be. I need to still find the washcloth, so I'll get these ready and I'll be back once I find that. So let's add some water to the bowl. And this flush valve isn't working right. So, this is going to be sort of 
hard for the toilet to pass. I'm guessing it's going to also clog. But anyway, I'll be back once I get the washcloth. So I've got the washcloth. So let's see how it does a washcloth, a grocery bag, and a dish towel all at once. That's a definite fail, which is not surprising. I mean, look at this. So now let's try it in the Compton. They're all laid the same because the cadet didn't really do anything with them. So now let's see. I think this is also going to hard clog. Well, I guess I was right. I mean, it's certainly not passing. But surprisingly, it wasn't really stuck in there very hard either. It's really odd. I would have thought the cadet would be better. So now let's try a dye test. First with the cadet. Gotta add some water to the bowl. I'm gonna do five drops. I think I could have put a little more in there, but let's see how it does. Well, that did pretty perfectly. And this stupid thing is leaking again. So now let's try five in the Compton, but of course I better add some water. I think this is also going to perfect pass. Obviously. So now I'll be back with some packing peanuts. I'm going to put some of those in each of the bowls and I'll be back when they're ready. So these are the cornstarch packing peanuts, not the styrofoam ones. They started to dissolve a little bit, so let's see how it does. Well, that made a mess. Left one stuck to the side and about six of them in the bowl. And this dumb thing is leaking again. So now let's try the Compton. I'm thinking it's going to take all of them. It actually left more, and there they all go. So the cadet actually wins on that one. Kind of surprised since the cadet is sort of being destroyed by the Compton and the other tests. But let's give this a second flush, get all this stuff out of here. Well, that shouldn't matter for the next test. Same for the cadet. So now let's try. Actually, why not show this? Now let's try mulch. I'll have to go pick some of that up. So I'll be right back. For each of these, I filled this coffee can up to the top. So Let's see how the cadet does, and I'm going to leave it dry for both of them.
For the amount that was put in there, the cadet did very well. Now let's try the Compton. Same amount, but it looks like more because the water line is lower. Looks like it did just a little bit better than the Cadet. Let's compare. Yep, better by just a little bit. So, let's add some water. Might as well give this a second flush just to get all that stuff out. And same goes for the Compton. And now, let's add some water to the bowls, and then I will try a foam test. Not quite sure how to do that, but I'm just going to get some dish soap and put it in each of them. So, I will be right back. I've got the foam ready. Let's see how the cadet does. Didn't even gurgle, that's kind of a surprise. And just by the way, I did two pumps in each of them. Still a little bit of foam left, but definitely did better than the Cadet. So I'm going to wait for the Cadet tank to fill up. Just going to add a little bit of water, and then I'll see how it does on a second flush. I think it'll probably take this. Looks pretty good. Tried to take it at the last second and seems like all the bubbles have gone down in the Compton. So can't really think of any other tests after this. So now it's time to give shout outs to the people who suggested these. Here is my list over here. We have CFT Plumbing, NJC Plumbing, Matt Rogers, Luke Gray, Tris Tris 389, Vintage Kohler, Random Things, KDMC Plumbing, All Albertas Fixtures, John Arseniak, sorry if I butchered that, and Floridian Toilets and Computers. Spring 77, 777 is his alternate account. So, yeah, that's about it for these tests. And, oh wait, I forgot one more. Gotta do the dry bowls. Don't remember who suggested that, but I'll be right back. So I'm pretty sure the Compton is going to be the winner. But let's see. Dry bowl test. Flush is still pretty nice. Now let's try the comp then. Still flushes perfectly. And I probably should have written it down, but I also still have the clogged siphon jet le left. So I'll pause and I'll be right back when the jets are clogged. There we go. I think this is the last test. So let's see how the cadet does with a blocked siphon jet. Very swirly. Now let's try the Compton.
it almost double flushed there. It's kind of interesting. But anyway, I think that is the last test. So I will conclude this video. If you enjoy my videos, see, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Clearly both of these toilets are absolutely amazing, but I give the win to the Compton.